Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Two parallel metal plates are connected to a DC power supply. An electric field forms in the space between the plates as shown. So the electric field lines are shown and they're moving from the left plate to the right plate. Eventually, it only means that this plate is positively charged and this plate is negatively charged because the electric field is always directed from positive to negative. No doubt about that. And this thing is known as edge effect, okay? Edge effect, I show you. Like whenever there is this kind of a plate here, these plates are actually responsible for creating a uniform electric field. Now, how does the uniform electric field looks like? You see, the directions are constant. The direction is not changing as well as the gap between the lines is not changing. Even that is constant. So this is how the constant or uniform electric field is shown so electric field is having same value at all of these points wherever you take and there is a formula for that also well that formula is not in your syllabus but uh, that comes out to be uh, f uh, sigma divided by f sin and not and what is the sigma the sigma is the charge density the q divided by area of the plate and f sin and not is the permittivity of space that you already know, which is 8.85 10 to the power minus 12. So from this formula, it is evident that it is not dependent on any other variable in the first place. And that is why it is known as uniform electric field. So the first thing is that there is a uniform electric field here. And this thing is known as edge effect that at the edges, this is not uniform so it becomes a little tilted and that is why it is no longer uniform this is known as edge effect edge effect and accordingly now we want to comment on the equipotential surfaces that result in this arrangement so what is the relationship between the equipotential surface and the electric field lines it is that of both of these lines are 90 degree to each other. So 90 degree means um, obviously inside will be completely vertical. So this could be the case. This could be the case. Uh, this could be the case, but this not. So inside it will be vertical. There is no doubt about it. And here the 90 degrees angle will be made like this, isn't it? And then you can say that there will be straight lines here. Yes. So it looks like B, isn't it? So the equipotential lines are bending at the bottoms. They are like this. So that is why the answer should be B. And let us verify. And yes, the answer is B. So my dear students, this is how we are going to do this question. Any doubts, please ask them in the comment section. All the best.